Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead and another What We Eat for Dinner in a Week. In these videos, I try to show you how I combine inexpensive Aldi groceries with food that we are blessed with from the food pantry to make hopefully well-balanced, well-rounded meals. As a family, we generally eat low carb because my husband and I have to for health reasons. And as the sole cook in the house, it is easier for me to just make one meal rather than trying to short order cook it. Um, but sometimes you'll see modifications to that, like uh, my kids having regular pizza and my husband and I having low carb pizza, that kind of thing. Um, so this week is not going to be a wing it week in total, but today was, we are, we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and we are going to go to the grocery store while we are out. So I will be able to make whatever I want, <laughs> AKA the meals that I have planned. I meal plan and grocery list and we stick to it. Um, but tonight was a scrounging around trying to find what we had left. So, uh, tonight I made two pounds of ground beef from the food pantry into meatballs. And, um, I just kind of, I kind of based it on a recipe, but also just kind of dumped in seasonings to my heart's content. So there's a bunch of random stuff in there, plus a grated onion. And then I just browned them. They're going to taste very similar to just a hamburger patty in flavor. So I will probably give the kids, let the kids have ketchup or barbecue sauce to dip it in, which is, you know, that works. Um, like I said, I was just trying to come up with a meat because it was maybe 530 in the evening and I had no meat thawed out. So I needed something quick. Uh, and ground meat is always that go-to. With that, I pulled out two quarts of home canned green beans, drained them, and then put them in the air fryer until they were to this doneness. Sorry, it's dark. Um, so they're kind of crispy around the edges. And then I just put uh, a little bit of seasoned salt on that. Uh, so yeah, once again, shelf stable stuff. And then I had one cabbage left in the refrigerator and this is actually just half of a cabbage and then one very giant carrot and some mayo and a little bit of erythritol, which is a low carb sweetener and some salt and made some coleslaw, which is kind of my go-to easy low carb side. So yeah, that is Monday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Tuesday and pretty much every Tuesday we have something taco Mexican fajita-ish. Taco Tuesday, come on. Um, and my family is totally fine with that. We all love tacos, so it's fine. Tonight we are having tacos slash taco salad slash taco dip. And what that is is uh, I will let the kids pick and choose which one they want. So they can either have tacos, they, they will have them on the flour tortillas, or they can have taco salad with lettuce and tortilla chips. Or they can have taco dip, which is just taco salad minus the lettuce. Um, so obviously not super healthy, but you know, pick and choose my battles here. Uh, so with that, we have two pounds of ground meat, one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground turkey. I do that because I'm not a big beef fan and ground turkey is cheaper so I cut it half and half and it works out and then one can of drained and rinsed black beans and that just kind of helps stretch your meat a little bit further if you don't have to eat low carb add more beans add refried beans uh, add cooked lentils anything like that is going to make it stretch further and um, just make it go a little further without the cost because beans are cheap especially if you buy dried black beans and soak them and cook them yourself. Okay, with that, the kids have their flour tortillas. My husband and I have the egg life wraps as our tortillas. Love these. These work great. Uh, as far as toppings, we have salsa con queso. There is um, evidence of a toddler who has been in my sour cream. Gonna have to get after her for that. Sour cream, some home canned salsa. And then this is pickled red onions and I think I'm going to film a short on how to do those because they're super simple um, but I did this batch and decided I was going to make them spicy and I did an entire sliced jalapeno in there and I tried just one little slice the other day and went oops that was too much jalapeno so I just thought these would be really good on tacos though to make them spicy I love spicy food 
Um, I do have to be careful not to eat too much of it or spicy food doesn't love me back, but you know. So yeah, I think that is everything for taco night. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy me some tacos and we'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday night and tonight we are having a family favorite of broccoli chicken alfredo. Yum. Uh, so on the bottom for my husband and I, I zoodled up one zucchini, like spiralized it. Um, and then I just get my pan roaring hot with a little bit of butter in it and put the noodles in and then turn the heat off. You do not want to cook these. You're more just warming them through because if you cook them, you're not going to have, they're going to turn soft and yeah. So that's that. The kids will be having spaghetti noodles. Uh, these are whole wheat, wheat ones from the food pantry. On top of that, I did a couple of very large of those seconds carrots and uh, one very large crown of broccoli. It was huge. Uh, and I just steamed that until it was done. And then the sauce is two cans or two jars of Alfredo sauce from Aldi. And then one thing that you can do to kind of zhuzh up your um, Alfredo sauce and kind of lighten it up because Alfredo is such a heavy sauce. I added in about a quarter of a cup of pesto and they, they blend very well together, that creamy sauce and the bright pesto. Um, and this was actually pesto that I made last summer and uh, just had in the freezer. Uh, so if you did one jar, about two tablespoons or two jars, about a quarter of a cup, and you can adjust that to your flavor. Um, if it's something new that you haven't tried before, maybe do less and see how your family likes it. But I just added that in there and then I added in a quart of home canned shredded turkey. So I guess technically it's broccoli turkey Alfredo, but you know, who's, who's a chicken and a turkey, same thing, right? So yeah, that is dinner for Wednesday night. Forgot what day it was. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> It is Thursday night and tonight we are having breakfast for dinner. The kids are and I'll explain. Um, my husband is home tonight and so am I and both of us tend to eat breakfast for breakfast and neither one of us want to have breakfast for dinner. So the kids are having this. This is our eggs scrambled, a couple of sausage patties for the big kids. The little kids get one or even just a half of one. A muffin which is chocolate chip muffin and I just made those. And then uh, this was, I think they're called pluots. Um, they're not a peach and they're not a plum. It's like a cross between the two. So, and those were a friend of us, ours gave us those. Um, so yeah, that's all of their stuff. And then, like I said, my husband and I have no desire whatsoever to eat um, breakfast for dinner. So I was kind of him hauling around about what to do for dinner tonight because he wasn't supposed to be home and then... He ended up being home, so that changed meal plan. Um, so I went ahead and pulled the burgers out of the freezer, those six pre-made burgers, and I am cooking those. We're going to eat those. With that, I'm making just some quick zucchini fries in the air fryer, and we'll eat the burgers on, um, like, lettuce buns to kind of give us some veggies uh, with probably have some cheese on it, you know, like the normal toppings. So, um Aside from that, I have no idea. I think that's probably going to be it. So that's fine with me. That is a dinner for Thursday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Friday night, and Friday night at our house means pizza night. Sometimes it's homemade. Sometimes it's store-bought. Sometimes it's a cross between the two. Almost never is it takeout because we live too far out for any delivery places to deliver to us. So by the time we would get to town order pizzas and get home I could have made a whole lot of frozen pizzas for a lot cheaper so we just don't do it um tonight was homemade and I once again used the Bisquick pizza crust I'll link that again because it worked great the kids really liked it it makes a nice like biscuity it um reminds me of pizza hut crust like their pizza hut pan pizzas you remember those yeah uh, just kind of more fluffy. So I made two of those for the kids. There's a pepperoni and a cheese. For me, I was not really in the mood for straight up pizzas. So I made my cheese chaffles, my pizza chaffles, uh, which is just a combination of cheese, egg, 
almond flour, and I'll put that recipe in the show notes as well. And yes, I got them a little overdone because I was trying to multitask and I had too many irons in the fire. <laughs> That's okay. With those, I just break off chunks of that and dip it into pizza sauce and it's fine. Uh, I also made a, just put a quart of home canned green beans in the air fryer and warmed those up with some garlic and herb seasoning. And then right now I have more of the zucchini uh, fries in there for me because I had those last night and I dipped them in like this garlic aioli sauce that I got from Aldi and it, they were amazing. <laughs> Do you ever find something like that where you find a food and you're just like, oh my gosh, that was so good. So simple, but so, like for whatever reason, it was delicious. So that's what I'm going to have. Tonight is also the one night a week when we have dinner or sorry, dessert. So sometimes throughout the week, I will uh, get a hankering for a little bit of dessert and I'll throw a couple cookies at the kids or whatever. Just something small or I'll let them pick a piece of candy out. But tonight is the night that we dedicated to have dessert. So um, I'm not sure right now what we're having. I do have some of those little caramel cups. And so I was thinking about doing um, apple slices with caramel. We still have some ice cream in the freezer. There's still candy. Uh, there's cookies. I mean, we just kind of have a little bit of everything. So I may just let the kids pick and choose what they want. But... Um, a lot of times that's what I do and that way they get to pick and it's kind of a big to do. So that is Friday night's dinner. We'll see you tomorrow night. It is Saturday night and Saturday nights I always make a big meal, kind of traditionally what you would have for like after church or Sunday evening. Um, and I'll explain why here in just a minute. Let's look at what we're having though. This is a whole roasted chicken from the food pantry. This is one of those seasoned ones. Sorry, I'm putting the lid on the compost so you don't have to see that. Um, this is one of the seasoned ones. It was a Tyson brand. And I just butterflied that, which means I took my kitchen shears and cut up one side of the uh, backbone. And then you pop the, the breastbone um, you can cut it, you can snip it with the scissors, whatever, um, and you pop it open so that it lays flat like this. And why I do that is because then all of the skin gets browned, not just the front of it, and it cooks a little faster. Um, I find that it makes a nice juicy chicken too. Uh, in that, I cut up a couple of onions and just baked in the pan so you can see the, it makes lots of yummy broth, and I will save that. I don't throw that away. Uh, with that, we have, this is a package of corn. We had gotten corn from the food pantry this summer. And it was, they were telling people to please take as much as possible because it was going bad. And so I froze, uh, I don't remember how many now, like five, six packages of corn and just cut it off and froze it. And so I just steamed that up with some butter on it. This is the bag of frozen Brussels sprouts from Aldi, and I roasted those in this pan, and then I drizzled them with balsamic glaze. That was also from the food pantry. And those look amazing. It, I will be hard-pressed not to eat that entire pan. This is was an experiment um, with baking. I baked one facing up and one facing down. Uh, the one facing up, took longer to cook because it wasn't steamed inside, but it also didn't brown like this, but the brown is also caramelized, so it probably has good flavor. So I may give the kids a little bit of each and see what they think flavor-wise on which one they like better. With this, I will just scrape it out with a spoon and it's very soft, um, kind of like a mashed potato texture at this point. Um, and I just scrape some up and put it on the kids' plate and uh, drizzle it with a little bit of honey and a pat of butter. And then I also made the cheesy spaghetti squash again because it was so good last time. And once again, I will be hard pressed not to eat that entire pan. No, I won't, but you know. Uh, and so I just baked it in the oven when it was soft. I shredded it out and did a layer of spaghetti squash, then cheese, some garlic and herb seasoning, uh, some cream cheese and then and I layered that again except for the second time I didn't add the cream cheese because I didn't want it on top. It doesn't 
cook well like that, it would kind of get dry and yucky. So that is Saturday night's dinner. If you are new here, this is the end of my cook week. I do not cook on Sundays. We try to honor the Sabbath and um, I do not cook. I don't clean. I don't do laundry. Don't wash dishes. Uh, we don't go shopping, like even online shopping. We don't go to the gas station. I try to make sure my vehicle has gas in it, that kind of thing. So on Sunday, when we get home from church, I will pull out all of the leftovers and I'll let the kids pick and choose whatever they want, which tomorrow may be interesting because I don't have a microwave. Our microwave died today and I'm kind of thinking about not replacing it. Uh, if you don't, if you live microwave free, tell me, how do you rewarm leftovers? How do you like, especially like kids, individual plates, walk me through that. I need to do some cert researching before I decide to definitely not replace the microwave. We had it for less than two years. It was actually less than 18 months and it died on us again. Do you, okay. Does anybody else have really bad luck with one type of appliance? We have had stoves last forever, fridges last forever, you know, washers and dryers last forever, but microwaves we habitually kill. I don't understand. And this was even like a nice Black & Decker brand. So yeah, anyway. So tomorrow for lunch, we'll have the leftovers. It's a great way of getting the leftovers used so that nothing goes to waste. Then on Sunday night, I pull out a bunch of snacky things like charcuterie board type things. Crackers, cheese, um, pretzels, pickles, uh, dried meats, dried fruits, fresh veggies, and I lay them all out on the counter and I let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. They get to once again choose what goes on their plate. And so that means I get that meal off from cooking too. And then I even bust out paper plates, so yeah. Um, yeah, so that is our week of dinners. I will try to remember to post any relevant recipes in the show notes. And if you have any questions about anything that I have made, want some more detailed instructions, please feel free to ask and I'd be happy to type it out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.